What's up guys? It's about 8 o'clock right now. It's Saturday morning. We're on the road to a couple of garage sales. We'll let you guys know how it goes. It's got a huge list. In 900 meters, turn left onto Belmont Avenue West. Didn't find too much at Honest these ones. This is like a wealthier neighborhood we went to first just to check it out. It's like a 90s bell promo tee for like an employee. The next two tees are actually kind of cool. 1994 Polar Bear LCBO promo tees. We got two of those, both of them brand new. We only paid 10 bucks for all three. Couldn't really say no. We got a little EXO, the weekend star boy. Long sleeves, nothing much. Five bucks though. Paige also found a little LV bag. We're still authenticating it. She thinks it's real. 10 bucks. We'll give you guys more of a story in a little bit, but that out later on. Just had an interesting little find. Found a 1992 Blue Jays World Series Christmas ornament with a little pin. Kind of cool. Only two bucks. We'll put on the Christmas tree in the store. Off to another one. So we've probably had about like 20 so far. Not so much luck, but we're on the way to another one. What's up guys, it's Nick and Paige here. It is Sunday. As you can see yesterday from the footage, we were out garage selling in the morning. Didn't really find much of anything for clothes. We only found a couple of like random pieces, nothing too notable, kind of highlighted in the video before. But Paige did find one bag. I think we showed you guys earlier, but it was a Louis Vuitton kind of like tote bag. And she's gonna talk about it right now. All right, so this is the Louis Vuitton bag that I found garage selling yesterday. The person that was Hosting the garage sale said that it was a knockoff, but when I was looking at it, I looked at the inside of the bag and Louis Vuitton uses a Vachetta leather, which over time it's not treated, so it goes through a process called patina where it turns a different color. So when you first purchase a Louis Vuitton bag, it'll be like a really light beige color, but over time when you're wearing it, you're touching it with your hands, it's exposed to weather, to the elements, it turns color, it turns to a darker brown. When I first seen the bag, I kind of noticed that the leather had this patina to it, which, I mean, fakes don't really have that. And then I looked inside of it, and it's the exact same on the inside. It has the same patina to the leather, and there is a date code as well. Do the date code? There you go, you guys can see it right there. Online, you can look up specific date codes for Louis Vuitton. And this date code signifies that this bag was manufactured in France in 2007. Checks out with the bag and like where it was manufactured. It does say that it was manufactured in France on the inside. So this is the Louis Vuitton Cabas Mezzo bag. And I also did the measurements of the bag. The measurements check out completely with authentic measurements as you can see it is pretty worn you can see it has a little bit of peeling on the corners and let it, me show them the bottom quickly you can see that that's a good sign but it does have sign. patina patinaing from like watermarks whatever it may be where it was set down you can see that the bag was repaired here though i understand why the lady thought that this was fake i asked her where it was purchased from and she said that it was purchased from a designer consignment store in california so as soon as she said that i was like okay well, if it was purchased from like an authentic consignment store, then I have a hard time believing that they would sell a fake product, especially because Louis Vuitton is super, super easy to authenticate. As well, like I understand why she thought that this would be a knockoff because this specific bag has many different variations. So over the years, they have changed the placement of the date code, which normally Louis Vuitton never does that. Louis Vuitton is known for never cutting off their monogram. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is the pattern of a Louis Vuitton bag. They are super proud of their logo. They will never place it where it will be cut off. So you can see right here at the corner of the bag, the logo is cut off a little bit by this piece of leather here. So typically Louis Vuitton never does that, but there are specific bag styles that have that exception. And this is one of those bags that that is an exception. What she means is the LV logo you see famously right there will never be cut off on a seam. So you wouldn't have half of the LV logo yeah. exposed on a seam and cut. And you would never have a handle placed on top of a logo. It will always be on either side of a handle. 
basically what she's saying is Louis Vuitton bags are very symmetrical and like exactly. carefully placed handles and stitches and stuff like that. Everything is laid out like perfectly. And another thing that I noticed as well that Louis Vuitton authentic bags will have is that the pattern is the exact same, ends at the exact same spot where there's a stitch. So if there's a flower here, the flower will end at the exact same point on either side of the stitch, even if it's two separate pieces of leather. Paid $10 for this, and I feel kind of bad. I feel like I probably should have told her that it was authentic, but... Yeah, you win some, you lose some. That's yeah. It's up to them what they want to price at and if they want to do their research or not. Most likely she'll end up keeping it, but if you were to get it on the resale market, these bags typically sell for around like five, four to 500 we've seen on eBay so far. Yeah and in slightly better condition. The one handle is kind of coming off and as you can see, it has cracking around all four corners of the bottom of the bag. I mean, these specific bags are known for this kind of wear, wear and tear to them. So, I mean, it's just another sign that points to it being authentic. Regardless, it's still a great find and definitely the only thing that made our garage selling <laughs> adventure worth it yesterday. Yeah, and this bag has a retail point of, I think, $1,800. It might be more now, because Louis Vuitton has upped their uh, their price points quite a bit. What's up, guys? It's Nick here from Vintage Me Type. It is Thursday morning, and we just got into the store. We got a whole bunch of new OVO stuff going out today. Some exclusive designs. These ones are actually from Tokyo. I think they're at least a few years ago. We have this in black and white, sorry, white and black. Dope tees, both brand new. These we hit the website today. We also have a very special Nike certified lover boy. These were only released at a New York City pop up, and Drake was personally throwing these out in Toronto out of one of his Mercedes made pops. What else we got? We got a little owl rose tee heading out today. Everyone's seen these, the Nike CLB hoodies. I always love that, how they embroidered the rose on there. This one's sick, I've actually never seen this OVO piece. OVO, it's like an October knit sweater. A little owl looking right on the sleeve. We actually just had one of these a couple days ago, but another OVO Roots crew neck. Amazing quality on this one. Last but not least, we have the OVO Diamonds tee. Brand new again. All this stuff will be going out today for super solid prices. All just about retail, it's not even under retail. Oh, last but not least, we got an OVO Chase tee. Reflective one. Brand new part of today as well. You can catch all these items on our website. There should hopefully be some, some left over time you're watching this. What's up guys? It's Nick here and it is 426 in the afternoon today. It is Thursday. We just put out all the OVO stuff a little while ago. We just got a beautiful pair of shoes in. I want to talk about it quick. It is a 2010 Jordan 4 Silver Anniversary. Better known as like basically a pure money. Zoom in on the quality of the leather, it's just they don't make them like this anymore. The crazy tumbled leather throughout the whole shoe. Even on the back, on the back tab. Amazing leather. Also, one little touch. Crazy part about these, a little detail I noticed, is look at that on the inside. It's still got the original Champs retail sticker on the inside. Most likely means this is the last size available back in 2010. It's probably just the display size. Pretty crazy shoe to have, especially in brand new condition. These are rolling out for 650. We're gonna be putting them out probably tomorrow. Gorgeous pair, I'll just show you. Look at the box as well. Classic early 2000s box. Jordan on the side. Still got the original tissue paper and everything inside. Gorgeous pair. Doesn't even compare to the 2016 pair they released. This pair has got so much better leather quality. And I don't know, just the overall shape of these just it's a little just hits a little bit different. Just wanted to talk about them quick. Grab them up on their website still. What's up guys? It's Nick for Vintage Retype here. Page. And we'd like to thank you all for an amazing two years. Our two year anniversary sale is coming up on June 17th. We'll have over 80 pairs of shoes for 200 and under, and then a ton of clothing steals as you can see behind us. We have the Travis Scott OG Mocha Lowe's for 200. Size, size 10.5. We have a pair of 2013 Joy One Breads, very lightly used, size 13, also 200 bucks. Right. Next, we have a pair of off white lot dumps, they're lot 18. Going out for two hundred dollars. Size twelve. Next, we have a pair of the off-white Zoom Flies, size twelve, like we use with the original box, one sixteen. Next, we have Black Cat Fours going out for two hundred dollars, size nine and a half. Next, we have a pair of Jordan Three White Smith Imagine. These are brand new, size eight point five, going for one hundred eighty dollars, way under retail. Jordan Four SVs, worn once, size eight, two hundred bucks. 
Okay, I'm Vita, you're not gonna wanna miss out on the sale. We have over 80 more shoes we still have to post. Watch our Instagram to see what's coming up next. Hope to see you all there. Just wanted to announce, as you saw in the last clip, our two year anniversary sale is Saturday, June 17th. It's coming up soon. We have over 80 pairs of shoes for under $200. Full rack of clothing, all for crazy steals. We'd like to thank everyone for watching this YouTube video. You can click here to subscribe and click here to watch our last video. We hope to see you all June 17th.